peeps, it's Haley, Derby City Naturals. Look, I got my hair straightened. Hooray! Alright, so once a year, if you guys have been following for a while, you know that once a year I straighten my hair. It's always at the end of the year. I got my hair straightened on the last day of the year. Way to get it in there. I went to Dakota at Natural Alternative Salon. I have a video for that, and we'll go into that later. What I'm really going to talk about in this video is just how my experience being straight has been. So it has been both awesome and kind of annoying. So let's start with the awesome parts. Okay, look. So I have this brush. This is my dimmin. I got a fancy kinky curly dimmin. But anyway, that's not the point. I love to do this. I love to brush my hair and to feel the bristles on my scalp. It feels so good. Like you guys know, Haley loves a scalp massage. Haley loves a scalp massage. And it feels so good. So I love brushing my hair just to have that feeling on there. So that alone is like awesome and amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead with the dislike. So dislike number one, avoiding water. I mean, I went natural. I love to use water. I don't always use a shower cap. If it's like drizzling outside, I'm like, whatever. I'm natural, honey. I'm just going to go out there. Not with straight hair, though. I've had to make sure I had a cap with me or an umbrella with me or something to protect my hair at all times. And this week has been crazy. This week we have had three different types of rain elements. We have had regular rain. We have had frozen rain. We have had snow. All of which were trying to attack my hair and revert it. And, again, once it starts, it's got to go. I've said this before. I don't own any heat tools anymore. I have no heat elements in my house. No curling iron, no blow dryer, no flat iron, nothing. So once this reverts, we just gotta wash it because I don't have any way to keep it, which is why it's just laying here straight doing nothing. Okay, here's the other thing. So I normally don't sleep with my hair covered. I lay on a satin pillowcase. So the first night, the first two nights, I wrap my hair. First of all, listen, I used to be real good at wrapping my hair when I was relaxed. I ain't that good anymore. It was so difficult. So then I wrapped it and then I put a satin cap on top of it to hold it in. And I was laying there because, you know, it's cold. So I'm all bundled up and I woke up and I was sweaty. Now, I don't think I normally sweat in my sleep, but I also don't wear a cap on my head. So I think that added to it. And you can see, like, here, like, around the edges, honey, like, the reversion is happening. You know, so whatever. It's just going to have to roll with it. Um, so, I <laughs> don't like that either. So then, after those two nights of trying to wrap, and it was just annoying and it wasn't working, I went to pineappling, um, which did work. I mean, it, there was a hair tie that, you know, kind of held it in place, and that was fine. Um, my hair is super soft, though, guys. Like, I wish you could feel it, because it's so soft. I do not have super soft hair. Not that my hair is hard, but I have friends, like Londa, who runs Curly and Lovely Vlog. Her hair is so so soft. It feels like cashmere. I wish my hair felt like that. No, I just, I don't know. It feels like hair. It's regular. But now that it's straight, it's so soft. And my son, like, he's petting me. <laughs> Come up and he's like, Mama, your hair is all. One wet. of the he's hardest petting. things is my hair is so straight. No matter what I do to it, it just comes undone. It won't hold anything. So, all my cute little clippies to put in my hair, they slide out. When I put even a hair tie on it, it slides out. Everything is coming out of my hair. It won't hold a braid. It won't hold a twist. It's just straight and it just comes unraveled. I don't remember it being like that, but maybe it is. I just don't know. It's been so long since I've had my hair straight. So, oh, look, this is a stacked logo tee from my city. It says Louisville, 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 Louisville. Um, and, you know, people, a lot of people say our town Louisville, which is just disgusting. That is not how you say it. Or they say Louisville. No, it's Louisville. I know. There's some letters missing in there, but you, it's Louisville. That's how you roll with it. So, now you know. Alright. <laughs> okay, I have video. pictures of my hair right after it was done to show the length, to show the length in the back so you guys can get an idea of what it looked like. And I will post those so you guys can see. Because right now it's all reverted. Well, not reverted, but the end, I mean, the... Roots are definitely puffy, and so it's shorter, but um, here, I'll give you guys a quick spin so you can see. Uh, I had Dakota do some cutting. I needed a trim, but I had him do some cutting because I got that color on my hair September 2011. Yeah, September 2011, I got color on my hair, and then I never touched it up, so it just been growing out, and I just had, like, these tips, right? And I was ready for them to let go. So off the bottom, he caught, like, an inch and a half. So my hair was at the bottom of my bra strap, and now it's at the top of my bra strap, and there. And then in the middle, there was more cutting because for some reason, there was, like, a lot of color here, like, all up and through here. 
Yep, so there was like two to three inches cut off there. There was not a lot cut here around the frame of my face because I didn't get color there. I didn't want to have it. So we're like, people were looking at me like you could see like my outgrown roots. I think that's so tacky. So I just had them, there, were no, there was no color put like right here. And then um, there's still some, I've noticed there's still a little bit here, like here on the sides. But Dakota said my hair is, you know, my hair will naturally lighten up on its own, so he thinks it's it's more that because he was like, I didn't even put that much color in your hair. Anyway, that's it. So I get I got a cut with it, like I said, um the on the bottom one and a half one to one and a half inch, in the middle two to three inches, and then um less than an inch here on the sides and in the front. And I'm so surprised that my bangs are this long because I have been cutting on these suckers. <laughs> and I didn't know how long they were. And I asked him because okay. I cut my own hair and then I'll get my hair done and he'll notice because something will just annoy me and I'll just cut it. Like if there's a hair or a twist that doesn't lay right, I'll be like, boop, cut it, gone. It's just hair. It'll grow back. Uh, but he said, no, it looked overall good because every now and then I'll have like a choppy piece in there where it was just some hair that was annoying me or maybe it was a single strand knot or maybe it was a split or something. And I'm like, boop, boop, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And so he'll be like, there's like a chunk of hair missing Haley. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got rid of that. It's okay. There's so much more to make up for it. <laughs> so anyway, I, I will say that um, it's been fun a little bit. I think I would like it more if I could do this in the summer where we didn't have as much weather. But the problem is in the summer here, it is stupid humid so that would not happen that would not be a successful do for me i would get it done and by the time i walked to my car it would be like poof because my hair loves to shrink up okay so that's it peeps there'll be pictures at the end and thank you for watching see ya bye bye